All right, let's get this griddle to about 400 to 425 so we can make a delicious steak, chicken, and shrimp fried rice that's so good it'll make you forget about your coworker who microwaves fish in the break room. Start off with some oil on the entire griddle. I usually start most cooks with oil on the entire griddle, but especially fried rice. Cover the whole griddle. This was an expensive cook. I spent about $40, which is a lot for me if you don't know. I am pretty cheap. Uh, I'm so cheap when the pandemic first hit, my wife wanted us to go buy a bidet. But they're like a hundred bucks, so I came home with a squatty potty and a squirt gun. Down went one tablespoon of butter and some garlic along with the white parts of three green onions, then a generous amount of oil and two egg rolls. What I'll say about doing the frozen egg rolls on the griddle is they're worth it. Give them a try. They're not as good as restaurant, they're not as good as deep frying them, I'm not going to lie to you, but for how easy they are just being frozen from the grocery store, they're worth it. Boom, there goes our rice, jasmine rice. Why jasmine? Because that's my favorite Disney princess, that's why. Recommend doing it the night before, and I recommend spraying your parchment paper so you don't look like a fool on YouTube like I do now. One pound of chicken breast diced up and marinated overnight in Newman's own Italian dressing. R.I.P. Paul, you will truly be missed. One pound New York strip steak marinated overnight in teriyaki. Why in teriyaki and why in New York strip? Because that's how my wife likes it, and she's my favorite real life princess. Boom, see I brought that back around there. So we're gonna spread everything out, make sure none of the meat is piled on top of each other. Everything's touching the griddle. You want it to get a nice sear. You want it to get a nice color on it. So spread it all out. Also, this is the time when I'll tell you that there's a free PDF with the recipe and the prep list down in the description. So if you're interested, grab that. There's also my $10 ebook down in the description with over 50 griddle recipes and tips and tricks, shameless self-promotion, but there's the PDF. Get that double spatula going to impress your wife and make your neighbors jealous. You know which neighbor I'm talking about. Yeah, just tossing that rice like, this is how I'm living. Double spatula griddle lifestyle started from the bottom. Now I'm here. And you can see here I got all four burners on low. That gets me to about 400 on my Camp Chef. Could be different on your griddle depending on the brand or the number of burners. So get yourself an infrared thermometer. I'll link one in the description. Very important. Speaking of the devil, we are right around 400, a little higher in the corner. Place down my zucchini. I know they look like pickle spears, but trust me. It's zucchini, okay? I cut them that way because they cook too fast if I do like thin slices or the half moons. So I try to wedge them and, you know, keep them looking like that. Maybe even sneak a pickle spear on someone's plate when it's done. It'll be fun. Do it. Try it. Everybody will laugh. Anyways, then I'm going to throw down some onion. I chopped these pretty large as well for the same reason as the zucchini. You don't want it too thin. It'll cook too fast. Don't forget about your egg rolls back there. Just keep rolling them around. While we're doing the whole hibachi cook, make sure you just keep rolling them. Go ahead and flip my pieces of steak and chicken individually because I want both sides to get that nice color. You can toss them if you want to, but I do it kind of OCD individually to make sure every piece cooks evenly. Then I do the same thing with the zucchini pickle sticks. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, pickle sticks is just funny to me now. Sounds like a, something somebody would say instead of a curse word, like, oh, pickle sticks. But <laughs> So we're going to toss the onions around a little bit. Then we're going to add some more butter and garlic. All together, I have like four tablespoons of butter, which, yeah, it's a lot. I know that, but that's what makes it taste delicious. So just do it, okay? A little bit of salt and pepper, all-purpose blend. I'm going to sprinkle this angel dust on everything, the rice, the veggies, the meat. This is a messy cook, okay? It's a very messy cook. I recommend getting some napkins afterwards. I have tons of napkins. I have a drawer full of Chipotle napkins, actually. When my wife moved in, she's like, are you stealing napkins from Chipotle? I said, no, I save my extra napkins from Chipotle. I steal their hot sauce. Anyway, soy sauce going down. Uh, I don't measure anymore, but it's about two tablespoons. That's what's on the recipe, which is in the description. Um, I just kind of throw it on there until it gets the color I want. Mix it up real well. The meat is finished. I'm going to turn that far burner off. 
move the steak and chicken over there to stay warm, but stop cooking. I don't want to have, you know, that dry cardboard tasting chicken. Follow up with the zucchini and the onions. Now we're going to move those over. We're making room for the rice. What I'll do with the rice is I'll make a little well in the middle. You can see we're at 300 degrees, which is perfect for our eggs so they won't burn. Put down some more oil. Then we will pour our already scrambled eggs into that well. I love doing it this way because the eggs are contained by the rice and the griddles at the proper temperature so they don't burn. I burnt a ton of eggs doing fried rice when I first got this griddle and was kind of learned how. So try this trick, do them at the end, do the well. We're just gonna let them set up. You know, now would be a good time for another beer. I'm sorry, I mean my first beer. Um, it's a uh, IPA Lagunitas that I got. Uh, not a big fan of this. I did not realize it was a low calorie IPA. I was like, whoa, I'm not planning on starting my diet till next week, but I should have read the label more carefully. My fault. So we'll go ahead and spread the eggs apart so they can continue to cook. I turned off the other top burner. Now the whole left side or the top of your screen is off. That's my warming area. Take a drink, don't forget to stay hydrated. Man, this is a good looking griddle. The knobs again here are low, low, off, off. Now the eggs are set up. We will mix it all together. Double spatula action again. Now I'm just showing off. Sesame oil, more double spatula. Don't skimp the sesame oil. You have to do that. It gives it the authentic carryout taste, in my opinion. Then I'm going to start with some shrimp. So look, I'm doing the shrimp way last because they only take like three, four minutes. Okay, so I'm putting down butter with the shrimp. And then I'm going to also, after the butter melts, add some teriyaki with the shrimp. I don't want to overcook them. That's why they're the very last thing to go down. And then we'll put some green onions on top, toss the shrimp, and that, my friends, is roughly $45 worth of griddle hibachi. If you're looking for some easier griddle recipes, I got five easy ones in the video on your screen right now. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, and keep on griddling.